Hey guys, Andrew Harding here, co-founder of Knocking Point Wines. Um, I was asked by our lead social media expert, Eve, to uh, sit down and pour a glass of rosé, which is easy to do, um, and answer some questions. I think she's got something that she is cooking up um, for our community to participate in. Uh, and she said, pour, pour a glass of wine, and um, or a glass of rosé specifically, and sit down and answer some questions. So uh, this is game time obviously here and uh, go kooks right there they didn't look so good on saturday but it is what it is they'll be back they'll probably still win the national championship uh, i'm 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 betting at least right i'm not uh <laughs> anyway um oh the t-shirt she, she told me to mention this too do you rose so this is a story about our buddy uh roscoe uh who turned the word rose into a verb at the calgary stampede a couple years ago he was walking around asking people if they rose do you rose um, and uh, I loved it, thought it was hilarious, and made it into a t-shirt. So um, as part of the NPX1 experience, check it out here. Brian Brown designed this for us. Uh, we're gonna be giving away a handful of these things over the next week for people who buy the NPX1 wine and hit the flow code on the front of it um, and unlock your access to this awesome tea. Do you rosé? Look at that, I love it. Um, all right, so let's dig in. Um, you've asked me, what is your favorite Favorite go-to knocking point rosé and why? I would say pink wine for dudes. Um, and I did grab a couple here just to have ready. Um, pink wine for dudes because it's the original. Um, that's Steven, my business partner and I, high-fiving. Um, that's an actual photo that was taken by Nick Nicotera years ago in front of Steven's home in Studio City. Um, and then we turned it into this bit of a silhouette. Um, and uh, now this is the logo forever going forward. Pink wine for dudes. There you go. It's a perfect patio pounder, nice and light, as are most of our rosés. And by the way, we make a handful of them every single year uh, because we love rosé. So pink wine for is my favorite, Eve. Um, what else you got? Oh, it locked here. One sec. What else you got for me? She asks next, what's the best knocking point club offering and why? Um, I would say the quarterly club because it's the original club started it all. You know, Stephen and I started this thing back in 2013, we had a wait list of almost 10,000 people. At one point in time, we couldn't make enough juice. Uh, we started making a lot more juice since then and letting in a lot more members. But I would say that the that the Founders Club, we call it, because Steven and I founded it, um, is probably the nearest and dearest to me. Um, that's got the flagship wines in it. That's got the original Pinot Noir, the, the pink wine for dudes. It's got the 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 uh, year, uh, you know, one through year nine coming up now. It's it's, it's uh, pretty crazy to think about that, but um, you know, the the monthly tastemakers club is awesome too because you get you get basically two cases of wine per year. Uh, but I like the original founders club, which which comes out quarterly. Uh, what is your favorite MP release of 2021? Um, so far, I would probably say outside wine. You know, with with Ashton Kutcher. Um, who is who is my buddy first, um, and a uh, fantastic human being, and 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 uh, philanthropist, and um, you know everything everything he does is in the spirit of of um, of uh, helping people out, and you know trying to make a, a measurable impact, um, and he's done so in many ways. And with Outside Wine, we're raising money currently for his charity Thorn, um, and for Tony Hawk's the skate park project. Um, and so having a project with both Ashton and Tony at the same time is uh, fantastic, as, as you can imagine. Um, and the wine speaks for itself. And so far we've sold a ton of this juice and raised a bunch of money. Um, but uh, all, all those pieces included, that is, that is my favorite project so far of the year. Um, and then into the next question, which kind of ties into the previous one, um, what is your current favorite NP wine? Um, I would say that it's any of our Oregon Pinots. We joke around about it a lot, but any of our Oregon Pinot Noirs are my favorite. Um, the next one coming out, Origins, here's a bit of a spoiler, but the, uh, well, actually I'm gonna hold off on it because my family member doesn't know this is happening. I don't, I don't think yet, so. But the new Origins coming out here shortly, it's a Willamette Valley Pinot Noir, uh, which is my favorite wine. I mean, not only my favorite, but it just is the best wine in the world. Um, and so we make a handful of those every single year also, but, but the new origins coming out soon is my favorite release of the year. Um, what is an NP experience release that we're most looking forward to? I would say the capsule collection. Um, this is something that we've been working on all year. We're about to launch three of them between now and the end of the year. Um, it is a true blending of wine and art and not just any art, but, um, we are lucky to work with some pretty renowned artists. Um, 
it's kind of like an NFT that you can drink, right? Like this whole NFT thing, I get it, I followed it. I kind of don't get it also. Uh, but think about an NFT that you can really actually enjoy and drink. Um, there are a lot of differences also, but if you think about art and wine and collectors, there's a huge overlap there. And then you bring in fantastic artists who are uh, doing amazing work and lending their talents to, to, to us and our labels. Um, it's something that I'm really excited about. I'm actually frankly excited to, to snag my own versions of these um, and hang the artwork on the wall. There's a bit of a spoiler alert right there, but they do come with the artwork that is uh, also on these uh, labels. Um, I probably gave up too much right there, but nonetheless, they are limited edition. They're called Capsule Collection. We're doing three between now and the end of the year. Um, and uh, yeah, stand by. The first one launches, uh, I believe, in a week. So here we go. Um, that's it. She said that's it. So five questions, five quick answers, having some rosé. Do you rosé? Yes, I do. Um, that's it, everybody. Cheers. Hope you had a nice Labor Day and uh, keep in touch. Talk soon.